Erica has been waiting for almost two hours oh. and I, there's no way I was going to end without, without taking this call. So Erica, thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully we can help out. Yeah. Hi. Thanks for taking my call. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Matt. Hi, hi Erica. Hey. It says here that you've been an atheist for eight years, but you side with Christians on social issues. Like which social issues specifically? Well, first, I guess I kind of want to say um, I've been kind of a fan of the show for a really long time. Um, Help me sort of get out of my Christianity. So I really have always wanted to say thank you to you, Matt. Um, and, and hi, Jenna, um, you're new to the show c- compared to when I started watching it. Um, uh, uh, thank you as well for, <laughs> I, sure. Thanks. Thanks for saying so. I, yeah. it's just that we're over time. So I kind of, I, I know you've been waiting and we're grateful. I just want to see if we can't. Yeah. Okay. So what, what are the issues that like, give me, give me one issue that you're agreeing with Christians on and why that is or isn't a problem. Cause I agree with Christians on all kinds of things. Okay, so um, I guess my first issue is uh, First Amendment to the constitutional right to assembly, um, right to, right, I mean, I guess it's just so weird that everything that's happening and it's it's hard, but I find myself just, I sort of, I lost my friends to, um, when I became an atheist, I lost all my Christian friends and now I feel like I'm in the same sort of boat um, losing all my friends to sort of, I guess the same sort of applying the same sort of rational thinking, um, but to lockdown right. I guess specifically to, to what, um, lockdown measures. Uh, oh, lockdown. so that has nothing to do with the first amendment of the right to assemble. Do you not think that we have a duty to protect the health of others? Um, technically I think it doesn't trump rights. I think if you give, I think if you give the government, you know, the right to create rules during emergencies, they'll just create emergencies to make rules. Okay. Then you're a conspiracy theorist. Then you're a conspiracy theorist and you're not engaging in this rationally. No, no. I mean, do do you think that the COVID pandemic is real? Recorded everything you said. I got to say, if I recorded every single thing you said in this show, like, and and just related it to this issue you would i mean it all applies to what you're saying erica um, do you think the COVID pandemic is real matt <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna ask you do you think the COVID pandemic is real it's fine but i mean i'm fine no no not fine yeah. do you think there's a real pandemic where three hundred thousand americans have died yeah, you're strawmanning my argument. You're like, I'm not strawmanning shit. I asked you a question and you tried to dodge it and I'm not going to let you. Do you think the COVID pandemic is real? Question again. Ask me the question again. Ask I me- just asked you the question again. If you'd shut up and stop trying to talk over me, you would have heard it. Do you think that the COVID pandemic is real and that 300,000 roughly more Americans have died? She hung up. Did she? Sounded like it. Nope. No. Erica? You're still on. I don't think so. Well, all right. I no longer care what Erica thinks about the COVID lockdown. Let me explain a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to be talking about this a little bit on the on the last episode of the Hang Up for, for the year, uh, along with a friend of mine, about what the government can and can't do and what the government should and shouldn't do with regard to um, uh, setting policies to protect the public health. But if you think that, oh, if you grant the government power, then the government will just invent a a scenario so that they can abuse that power. You're an idiot. Now, and I say this, yeah, you're an idiot. And here's the truth. The government is us. We have a participatory government where you can run for office, you can be elected. It is not a cabal that sits separately governing it. There's not an Illuminati running everything. There's not the Bilderbergers. You should call Alex Jones's show because he'll buy into all that bullshit. But the rest of us are trying to be rational. And we're doing it in a world 
where over 300,000 Americans have died, where we are constantly setting new records, new seven-day records for deaths, new seven-day records for infections over and over and over again. And some of us have, this is like a class project, and I'm tired of being the one who's working on a class project while people like Eric are out fucking smoking. I've been locked in my house pretty much since March. I'm in a fortunate position where I can do that. I'm not suggesting everybody has to stay home. I'm suggesting everybody should listen to the medical experts who are saying, wear a mask, social distances, stay home if you can. It's the people who aren't following those things. The people who are like, oh, my rights, my rights, fuck your rights. You don't have a right to spit on someone if you're infected. You don't have a right to infect other people. That is not what the right to assembly is. A government of the people, by the people, for the people, relying on the expert testimony from people who truly understand this, are doing everything in their power to give the United States citizens the best information that they can, and it's being undermined by individuals who have an ideology. Well, COVID doesn't give a rat's ass about your ideology, and neither do I. Either you're going to work with us to help protect each other, or we will lock you in your houses to prevent you from killing people. Can we? Martial law is something that is, in fact, a possibility. I, I, I hear that Trump is toying with the notion of martial law for potential other reasons. However, we're doing what we can. And it's not enough because some people are not participating. And if you've bought into this notion that, well, we can't let the government tell us to wear a mask because that would violate my rights, don't ever call this show when I'm on. There are too, I've had too many people come down with this. I've had fr friends who I thought were going to die. I'm personally at high risk. There are countless people without health insurance. If you just want to call up to say, man, I really side with my Christian friends about not wanting to wear a mask and not maintaining social distance. Fuck you. I don't need you to call here ever. Now, for everybody else, let's throw all that stuff aside. 